What's going on everybody? It's your boy Troy coming at you with some advanced warfare gameplay. Um, in this video there's actually two gameplays but that's not really important. Um, what I'm going to do today is kind of give you a rundown on things I have learned about this game and uh, try to pass on like some tips and some tricks um, onto the people that um, may benefit from it. Um, I am in no way like a professional Call of Duty player. I'm at most average. You know, I can hold my own. But there are a lot of things that I picked up from this Call of Duty that uh, I feel like could help some people out. Um, and first things first, me along with a lot of other people have been ki uh, getting killed from behind a lot. Probably 80% of the time if I had to make an estimate. Um, there's no way to stop this, actually. Getting killed from behind is its always going to happen. The way the maps are built and the way that the gameplay rolls and flows, uh, getting flanked and getting killed from behind is going to happen for the rest of Advanced Warfare's eternity. So, what can you do to uh, at least, you know, you know, still thrive even though you're getting killed from behind every 20 seconds? Like what I'm about to do to this freaking clown. Um, you just have to not worry about your kill death ratio and kill streaks like me i worry a lot about my kill death ratio even though like i'm not good i hold like a 1.3 kd you know it's not amazing by any means but i still like try hard for some reason and in in advanced warfare this early in the game kill death ratio doesn't mean anything the way that this game is laid out and the way that they built it this is a, like, do the, like, play the objective game. I mean, if you start going on a kill streak, then by all means, just forget the objective and keep getting kills. But, um, yeah, the priority here is the uh, objective. So don't worry about your KD. And if you do worry about your KD and just, just can't not worry about it, then your best bet is, like, camping or, in quotes, guarding the position. Uh, which I do from time uh, from time to time if I'm you know if I'm flowing with the uh, if I'm grooving with the kills like in this gameplay. Um, another thing that people brought up and what I um, also experience is that uh, my bullets randomly seem to uh, disappear from me without any uh, you know notice. They just uh, seem to diminish and just you know. Get up and walk away, I guess. There's a reason for this, and actually it can be prevented. There are two types of reloading, actually. And I just learned this when I was doing the um, the firing range. I'll get to that later. If you double taps, I'm, I'm on PlayStation, so if you double tap square, it actually does a fast reload, which is a quick, like, a quick reload, but it gets rid of the rest of the bullets in your magazine. But if you single, like if you just single tap square to reload, it doesn't get rid of your bullets. But is but it is a slower reload. So you you have to make a sacrifice on what you want to do. Do you want to have a faster reload but lose those bullets, or do you want a slower reload but keep the bullets? So it's your call. So single tap to keep the bullets, double tap to just throw your uh, mag on the ground and replace it fresh. So that's um, that. An that should answer your question on where your bullets are going, and why they seem to be disappearing, and you running out like three kills in. Uh, next point that I uh, that I took note. Um, in this game, I have found that assault rifles are your best choice of weaponry. Um, I know some people run around with that uh, one shot uh, pistol, but I wouldn't recommend it because it has. Mine, I don't. I, I haven't upgraded it at all, and I don't know anything about it. But mine only carries one bullet at a time, and I'm not gonna run around with a pistol that carries one bullet, even though it's a one-shot kill. But even though assault rifles are your best bet, I mean, look at the B A L, or I call it the ball, as in ball is life. I'm I'm widely considering this probably one of the best guns overall in the game, and if you get the uh, elite version of this, you're just gonna you're just going to poop on kids, honestly. 
Mine's just the regular uh, standard version. But don't disregard all other gun types. I mean, you have to find guns that fit you. Like, I have an MP11, the uh, submachine gun that I, that I use from time to time. And I don't have a set gun that I use every single match. I have this, I have the H-Bra, and I have the uh, MP11, I have the AK. You know, all the guns are really good, honestly. And I use a different one every single game. Um, probably the number one gun I use is this. But, you know, the MRI, the, uh, you know, like the guns I just listed that I don't need to repeat. They're all good, too. And, um, I can't tell you what gun to use. It's all in the, uh, the user's preference. Same with the game modes. Um, my favorite game mode, I don't have one. I switch game modes like I switch guns. You know, I use, I play a different game mode every single match. Like, in this video, I play, um, Momentum and Domination. I just, you know, I just... I don't know. But, um, Hardpoint is a good one. Momentum is fun. Quidditch, I mean, uh, not Quidditch. What's the name of that one? Well, let me look at it real quick. I completely forgot, actually. Uplink. Um, Uplink is, uh, also good. So you just have to find the right game mode and the right gun to fit it. And, uh, you'll, you'll be success relatively successful KD-wise. Um, also... Don't forget about your exosuit. Uh, that doesn't mean the uh, the L1 button that uh, like you use a power up. That means like the uh, the double jump, the uh, like that little sprint that you do while you're double jumping, the sliding. All those things are very useful and they help you get places quicker. You get places quicker, that means you get established quicker and you can uh, get that just like extra half a second on your opponent, which is actually pretty important uh, reaction time wise, because reaction time is important. And I know you can relate to that because how many times you've turned a corner and you see and you see your, each other, and uh, he kills you first, and you're like, "But we have the same gun. I should be killing you." Um, it's because he had better reaction time and he got, you know, the full the first bullet off. Um, another point that I wanted to bring up: always stay moving. This game is very, very fast. Very fast. The maps aren't that big they're actually relatively small which I'm 100% okay with but um yeah you always got to stay moving just circle the map stay to the perimeters and if you're playing the objective like I don't play the objective in these two gameplays because I was actually doing decent and like these games are standout games for me like this isn't the average game but um you always got to stay moving because when you stay moving it's harder for people to uh Alright, let me backtrack here. Something I've picked up from all my years of playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 is that campers always die. They will always die because you they kill you, you get angry, you're like, alright, you're going down. And you make it your mission to kill that camper. And that's, that's what people are going to do with you if you start camping. So you always got to stay moving, versatile. People won't know where you are. And if you play stealthy, if you play stealthy you're gonna succeed a little more because like that's just if you're average I mean if you're like an outstanding Call of Duty player you can play whatever way you want you know but if you play stealthy and try like flanking and you be the one that gets the kills from behind then you're gonna do alright um on to that on that point shoot at everything literally everything so if you're playing a stealth game and have silencer it won't really you know, you won't be affected by shooting at everything. But I have come to find out that dead bodies and players that are prone are very, very, very similar. You will not tell the difference. So if you see a dead body on the ground, shoot it anyway. You know, not, not, not your whole mag, but, you know, just a couple bullets. Just to make sure that they are actually a dead body and not a person that will kill you as soon as you walk by. Because it's happened before and I learned the hard way. Um... If you come around a corner and you see somebody, sh like, just hip fire. Just get a couple bullets off. If it's your teammate, good. You only wasted a couple bullets. If it's somebody, you already got two bullets on them. Then, then you go from there and aim and do whatever else. Um, also, I mentioned that accuracy is important. And uh, some people, like, just don't have good accuracy. I have okay accuracy. Um, there are things that you can do to improve your accuracy, like... 
you can change up your uh, sensitivity. That helped me a little bit. <laughs> like I was playing at eight, and I knew I noticed that I was off by like a couple inches on uh, most of my kills. Um, I changed my sensitivity down to like a six, I think, and uh, then I started really getting like pinpoint because uh when I I don't know when I play this I kind of get like you know like not worked up but you know like excited I guess. And so, like, I kind of, like, move the analog stick, like, fast, I guess. And, um, sometimes it can, uh, mess up where I'm aiming. So I lowered my sensitivity to keep me, like, you know, centered on the guy. So if I was aiming at his left arm, like, and if I jolted my trigger, then I'd be aiming at his right arms, which would still be doing damage. And then if I kept my sensitivity at 8, I'd be aiming at his left arm, then I'd jolt the trigger in excitement, and I'd be aiming, like, 3 feet away, so... Sensitivity does make a difference. Um, the firing range, I don't know if many of you know about this, but you can, when you're in create a class, you can uh, use, you can hit like, op on the PS4 it's options. So I'm assuming on Xbox it's start, or advance, or whatever it is on Xbox. And uh, you go to a firing range with the gun in that class, the primary I believe. And you can walk into like a, into a slot, and it'll, it'll set up. Uh, barriers and dummies to shoot at to practice your accuracy and there's more than like there's a few rounds of uh, you know dummies and obstacles and it really does help they're moving targets they're uh, you know just helps you get you know used to uh, aiming like at the chest area because it's where like the chest and head area where it does the most damage and, uh, Pretty much that's all I got for you. That's all I've picked up so far, and I've played about five days worth. So pretty much, you're not going to be consistently... This is a recap, by the way. From here on out, it's going to be a recap. You're not going to be consistent with a 2KD like you are in Modern Warfare 3 and stuff. Well, at least not yet. And if you are, then good for you. That's outstanding, actually. So you're not going to be consistent with your KD. Um, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about your KD. It's not that important. Um, play for fun, really, like, 100%. Don't get frustrated. I get frustrated, and that uh, just makes me do worse. Um, find a gun that's suited for you, suited for your gameplay. If you're stealthy, you know, a, uh, either assault rifle or submachine gun with silencer. Uh, use your, uh, like, the reflex grip, which makes you aim in quicker, which I found really useful. That helps with reaction times, too. Um, find a game mode, jump around game modes, jump around guns, find what uh, works for you. Um, exosuits, you know, boost slides and stuff like that. You can see me using that pretty much almost every single time I jump. I use the, uh, the boost in air. Always stay moving. Always, like, stay to the perimeter of the map. Once in a while, go into the center if you're uh, playing, like, Domination or something. Uh, sh shoot at everything. Uh, there's leniency. Don't just... You know, just fire off bullets at a chair. Like, if you see, like, a, a humanoid figure moving around, pop a couple caps in it. Just in case. Um, firing range, definitely utilize what they give you. They give you a firing range for a reason. Um, it does help a little bit. Not like, you're not going to go to the firing range once, and then all of a sudden be optic level. Um, but in between matches, if you have nothing else to do, usually I check my phone or check out, like, the internet. But if you're not doing that, just go to the firing range for, you know, th that 30 seconds in between. You know, just practice beforehand. Um, that's pretty much all I've got. This clip is about to be over. As you can see, there's 30 seconds left. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If this helped you at all, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know if you've picked up anything um, that I could add to my arsenal of tips. And uh, I guess thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.